Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can create a glossary uh, knowledge base in SharePoint Online. Uh, first, let me define to you what I mean by glossary. Uh, essentially, it's uh, this experience that you see over here, where essentially you have uh, a letter representing kind of a major uh, kind of paragraph uh, on your page. And then uh, the assumption is that all of this uh, letters within the uh, alphabet will be clickable. And when you click on a certain letter, it brings you straight down to the area of the page that essentially contains uh, the information, the keywords that match this particular letter. So let me show you how to build this. Uh, we're actually going to utilize the functionality called page anchors, uh, something I actually recorded video on in the past. Uh, but let me explain to you how this works. So um, let's say we have all this different uh, essentially text. Uh, what you need to do is first of all, build the you know, build out all the letters, right? Eventually they will all be clickable. So horizontally, you just list all the letters across the screen, just like that. Then you do the same vertically, all right? So essentially all these letters then appear vertically as well. And of course, the assumption is that under each letter, like under letter P, I have all the different, you know, glossary of terms, right? Essentially all the different keywords and the explanation of the particular term. So the first step is for you uh, li to list out all the letters, uh, you know, uh, horizontally and then vertically. Then the next step, you need to edit the page and then we navigate to one of the letters, let's say a letter O, maybe let's, uh, actually, you know what, under letter M, let's just uh, maybe create uh, again um, some, uh, you know, text, uh, we want uh, to scroll down to letter M and maybe we have the keyword called manuals and whatever, some text explaining what the manual is all about, right? And so what you need to do is highlight that letter M, all right? And then in the drop down over here, you need to choose one of the headers. Uh, and let me explain to you why. So let me choose one, all right? Doesn't really matter. I guess depending on the size, uh, uh, you know, you choose one or another. Let me proceed with uh, heading two, doesn't really matter. The key thing here is that uh, essentially uh, it has to be one of the headers, one, two, or three. So you do that and then you republish, all right? So you republish uh, the page. And let me explain to you why uh, making this, uh, you know, text, uh, essentially the letter, the um, you know, one of the headers was important. If you hover over next to uh, that text uh, that you made a header, uh, it actually has this link on the right uh, hand side to the right of it, all right? And that's called page anchor, all right? So, and if you click on that, uh, right click, you can actually copy the link address. It's not just the link address of that particular page, it's actually the exact location of this letter on the page. So again, it's kind of invisible by default, just hover over, you will get to see this link like a bookmark and you just say copy link address. So next we need to navigate back, click edit. And of course you highlight the letter and we need to link it to that particular URL. So uh, then you click three dots and we say hyperlink and this is where you paste the URL. And if you notice, you see it's not the just the page URL, it's actually the URL of that particular header, right? And that's it, you just click a save. Uh, you can actually make it uh, open in the new tab, but let's not worry about it. We click save and of course we click republish and let's see this in action now. So essentially when I click on letter M, it should bring us down all the way to the bottom of the screen. And uh, let me show you that you just click and look at it, look at this. It actually brings us straight to that particular letter and of course will show us all the relevant text. And this is pretty much it. This is how you build the clickable uh, glossary. I'm sure you ran into glossaries online already uh, on various websites, but you can actually replicate uh, it in SharePoint. And this is one of the ways, by the way, to build a knowledge base in SharePoint. There are many other options available. Uh, but in this video, I just showed you one of them, how to 
create a glossary uh, knowledge base in SharePoint Online. So that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as uh, my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great day. Bye-bye.